Hey everyone, it's Ashley Winterstep, and I'm so glad to bring this video to you in collaboration with Star Stable. They just had their most recent update of the fantastic and beautiful Winter Wonderland, and throughout this entire video, I'll be showing you all the clothes, quests, food, races used throughout this entire, entire update, and it's so, so awesome. If you want to ride into winter with me, I strongly encourage you to register down below in the link. This Winter Wonderland is available to all players, so you can register down below, and once in the game, you can immediately go over to one of the sleighs in many of the villages such as Moreland and Fort Pinta and Silverglade and access the entirety of the Winter Wonderland. It's an awesome update and I loved using it through my video. In addition, I also have some really exciting news in regards to a giveaway that Star Stable has helped me do. It is the 300 star coin giveaway for five winners and there will be more info on that by the end of the video. This video was so, so fun to make. I got to use the Winter Wonderland in a really fun aspect, and I know my viewers are realistic role players, so I tried to put it in a movie sense because I know that's what my viewers love, so I really hope you like it. Make sure to grab your cocoa, grab your candy cane, and watch this and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into it. These are yule goats, and they're my they're my favorite animal. They're my favorite animal. Yeah. Hey, honey, what are, what are we getting Holly for Christmas? <laughs> We're surprising her with a pony, uh, her first pony. We're really excited. Okay, Holly. Holly, we have a surprise for you, but you got to keep your eyes closed. Okay, you got to cover your eyes. It's in the barn. Yes, it's in the barn. Can I open my eyes yet? Yes, you can open your eyes. It's a, it's a pony! Yes! See, that pony wasn't just any pony. That was Jingle, the pony. My first pony. And when you're a little girl and you wake up on Christmas and you get a pony, it's, it's Wonderland. I had my first show with that pony, my first jump. The majority of my experiences from childhood happened with that pony. I can never thank that pony enough for shaping the way I am today. But unfortunately, not all things end so well. Not all things end so perfectly in my story. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Leah Dawn Ryder with Yorvik Live, and this morning we have some breaking news coming your way. There was recently a trailer crash down in Snow Valley, affecting a family of three and a pony. It seems they were on their way to a competition up in the mountains of Yor when all hell broke loose on the ice. You can see the trailer is devastated, and so is the family. The victims include mother of daughter Holly, wife of husband Pat, and their horse, Jingle. A very sad loss indeed. That is it for this morning's news, and that wraps that up. Truly devastating for this family. Truly devastating was really an understatement. It's been two years. Two years. Time really didn't heal that much. My dad and I decided it was time for us to get a mosey along after six months of living in the same place, and so we moved to Jarlheim, where we could start fresh and new. It doesn't really feel that way. I still wear the same makeup, put on the same clothes, talk to the same people, but, you know, maybe it is a good new setting. This is going to be my first official Christmas staying in Jarlheim, and when I saw the decorations, I decided maybe it's time for me to be jolly again. So, I made a Christmas list for Santa. I'd send it to him and, you know, maybe he'd get me a couple of things. It would be rather relaxed. I wasn't going to go all out on Christmas like I used to, but, you know, maybe I'd ask for a water bottle and maybe a horse. I knew I wasn't ready to replace Jingle just yet, but 
Maybe, just maybe. I wanted this Christmas to be the same as others. I wanted to go Christmas shopping with friends. I wanted to really hang up my stocking like old times. I wanted to go get that delicious cup of hot cocoa at that Vail Day cafe that I used to go to. Most of all, I wanted the snow from the ice caps of the mountains of yore to come down to Jorvik, which it really hadn't in a while. Maybe that's why there wasn't so much cheer as there used to be. Well, the only thing I can do now is really wish for it to come. Eventually. Hey, I'm Coco, and if you're wondering what's behind me, yes, yes, it's the North Pole of Jorvik. You guessed it. And yes, I was brought and born and raised here by Santa himself. Regular stuff, really. But you know, when you live here, you really have to uphold your weight in the North Pole. You have to have a job. I'm kind of a tough guy, so I have job policemen. You know these little guys? They're called helpers, but they do everything but help. They cause trouble everywhere. So it's my job to get them rounded up and to punish them when they're doing something that they really shouldn't be. I usually just end up screaming at them, rearing at them, chasing them around. It's a really fun job. Oftentimes, I have to go up to places I don't want to go up to, and I get in some sticky, sticky situations. But you know, it's fine. It's all for the job. On a really average Christmas Eve, I woke up in my gorgeous stall. You know, the first thing I do when I wake up is I get ready for the day, and then I go over to my manager, the elf, Nerissa. She gives me all my jobs for the day. On this particular day, she gave me a pat. Uh, she's not supposed to do that. She only does that if she's giving me a job that I know I don't want to do. Ugh, today's gonna be a bad day. So Coco, today your job is goat herding. Nerissa, you can't seriously make me do that. That is literally the worst job to give someone. Everyone knows that Yule goats are troublemakers. I know, but someone needs to cover for Crinkle and you're the last option. Well, then it looks like I really have no choice. Ah, oh, great. Yule goat, Yule goat, Yule goat. You know, I'd rather work with the helpers than work with a Yule goat. If you want to know why, I get flashbacks to this time. <laughs> You know, I'd rather not think about that, actually. Anyways, on this particular morning, I quite literally had no choice but to go to my job. Yeah. Alright, that's fair. You know, the beginning of my shift was manageable. They really weren't too fast. And for an experienced police officer, you can imagine that it's an easy, easy job. But, you know, they are troublemakers, and one thing to know is that ponies run out of stamina rather quick, and yo goats, well, they have unlimited stamina. So when I saw my entire herd of Yule goats racing across the ice track, racing across the hills, you can imagine the panic that followed. I was losing my pack of Yule goats. It's a pretty stressful job, and it quickly ensued into chaos. I was in control until I really, really wasn't. I went through the frosted forest. I've never galloped so fast in my life, but it was too late. The feeling of hopelessness I felt when I realized they had already gone over the hill, meaning they'd probably infiltrated the barrier of the North, North Pole, and now they were going to be in Jorvik. Oh boy. Now how exactly am I going to tell this to Santa? He's not going to be too happy that his magical Yule Goats are wandering around the real world with real people. It's a lovely day at the barn. It's Christmas Eve and it's a little bit chilly, but I wanted to go out and warm up some of the lesson horses. It's good to get out there a little bit once in a while, you know? That'd get me in the Christmas spirit to see other people all jolly and happy riding around. All right, that's it for our ride, Carmel. Wow, holy cow, this barn looks incredible with the decorations. Doesn't it? Also, check out this sick you'll go I found on the side of the road. Oh, Alex, I didn't see you there, how are you doing? 
Great, better with this Yule go. Does it look realistic? Yeah, yeah, it really does. I know, it's probably because it's handcrafted or something funky like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Adelaide, that wasn't really a regular boom. We should probably go check out what that is. Uh, my Yulgo, uh, it's running away. It's, it's alive? Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's no way we're leaving without figuring out what the heck is going on. The weird thing was that the farther we went on, the snowier it got, and there was this giant portal in the middle of the field. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. It's like it was a portal between two lands. I didn't want to question it, though, until this giant boom happened. Uh, Adelaide, why are there so many Yule Goats? And Alex was right. They were everywhere. And what I used to love, what used to be my favorite animal, was now terrorizing my city. It's only until I got brave enough to go up to one that I realized they probably just wanted to go back home. So I spent the next bits of my time leading them there. Something was just seriously off there, but at least it was over, right? The walk back home was a tough one. There was so much to think about. I mean, what would I even tell Santa? He was going to be so mad at me. How do you lose a herd of Yule Goats? Hey Santa buddy, uh, not so good news. Ah, no worries, I already heard about it. I'm sorry, from who? I'm Santa, I know everything. And you aren't more mad? Well, they've been returned. They're back in their pastures now, relaxed and happy. By whom? I mean, who would even be able to herd Yule Goats except a professional? A 15-year-old girl with a lot more patience than you. She didn't end up going in the portal, she just herded them in, so we're safe. But I want to reward her with a tour of the Winter Wonderland. She deserves it. She really does. Perfect. I'll, I'll lead it. Um, I'll, I'll take her on the tour. No questions asked. Good. Not like you would have had a choice anyways. <laughs> The aftermath of the Yule Goat attack left Jorvik covered in a thick layer of fog. Still no snow, though, and as I looked out into my city, uh, how sad this looks. Until I heard a great crash. And I thought, what? what do I see? Is that a sleigh? And it's not a fake sleigh, it's a genuine sleigh with reindeer on it. This weird creature was calling out for my name, too. Hi, yes, I'm, I'm that holly you're looking for? It seems you were calling after my name. Is, is that right? Yes, hop on in on orders of Santa. I'm sorry, wait, wait a second, what? That's right, Santa has invited you on a tour of the North Pole. It's quick and easy, just repayment for you returning the Yule Goats. Well, I couldn't say no, could I? And I made it. Well, that was fast, and... Wow, I'm wearing designer winter clothes from Jollister? Seems like the dress code in Santa's city is fancy. Hi stranger, I'm, I'm Coco. I'm your tour guide for today. It seems that you're stuck with me. Well, hello Coco. I'm Holly, and I would be very pleased to go on this tour with you. Let's start. This is the overview of my city. It's, it's pretty cool, I guess, huh? Wow, it's impeccable. Whoa, wait a second there, Coco, this is really fast, oh my gosh. Wow, that was exhilarating. <laughs> well, now we're in the Winter Wonderland, so uh, get ready for a tour of your lifetime, huh? You ready for this? Yeah, readier than I'll ever be. To our right here, we have the Cookie Factory. It's a pretty cool place, if I would say so. Yeah, we have different varieties every single Christmas that we make, it's insane. This is impeccable, wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know, fun fact, they actually pay us in cookies. That's our currency here in the Winter Wonderland. Are you serious? That is the best currency ever. Yeah, it definitely has its perks, although I eat too many cookies sometimes. Today's Christmas Eve, so, you know, we have all our packages out. <laughs> Excuse the mess, but it's pretty cool, you know? We make everything for all of your fixed children. And children ask for Christmas trees? Well, you'd be surprised. Wow, and what's this store over here? Well, that's, that's our clothing store. Are you guys serious? If my wardrobe and my shopping centers looked like this, I would never go back to normal colors again. These Christmas clothes, they're impeccable. They're so warm and they're kind of funny too. <laughs> but I really like them. I might take a few home with me if that's okay. And what about these reindeer, huh? Are those just normal animals here? 
Yeah, you know, the reindeers, they're what pull our sleighs, but we also have magical horses here, too. We have the Fonsi, which runs throughout the forest wildly. Incredible horses. And we also have the Brinicle. These are the leaders of the sleighs. They are what guide all the reindeer to the homes in Jorvik during Christmas Eve and Christmas. But why don't you have that job? Well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm a pony. They don't really let ponies do that, but it, it's fine, you know. I'll, I'll get it eventually, when I level up, hopefully, in my work. Oh, come on, but is that music I hear? You guys play Christmas songs all year round? Let's go dance, come on, let's go. I, I, don't, I don't really dance. No, it's not my thing. Oh, come on, please. Please. Ugh. If you're giving me really no option, then I'll dance. Hey, come on, I want to show you a fun race that we can do. It's honestly my favorite thing to do in my free time. over lake? That's an ice skating rink? Can we please go ice skate? All right, all right, let's go. Uh, it, it's kind of slippery. I'm, I'm not really good at this whole thing. Uh, ooh, wait, it actually gets better. It's not too bad and it's not too difficult. Man, I would kill to live a life like this every single day. Just how free you live. It's impeccable. Hey, Coco, do you have a place that maybe we could go to possibly rest a little bit? Yeah, I know just the place. Let's hit it. Wow. This entire winter wonderland, it's beautiful. I mean, if I lived here every day, I would constantly live in the Christmas cheer. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much live that every single day. It's an awesome lifestyle. Wow, this place is so cute. Do you come here a lot? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's kind of a meditative spot. Let's go sit over here. Look at all these presents and these cookies. Man, this feels like Christmas morning. Speaking of which, it actually is almost Christmas morning. It means that you actually have to go home pretty soon. Well, if there's one thing you want to know, this was the most fun I've had in the longest time. You're an awesome, awesome pony. I hope I see you later. Until next time, Coco. Until next time. I'll catch you later, Holly. Have a good ride back. Wow, some humans are so cool. It makes me wonder what it'd be like to live in the real riding world. Hey Santa, you uh, you called me over for something, huh? Hey, we're a little bit stuck on a present. It's for a girl, and uh, she wants a horse for Christmas, but it's kind of a lot. We, we came up with the solution. Uh, but we wanted you to deliver that present to her. Would that be alright? Her name's Holly. She lives somewhere in Jarlaheim. Well, of course. I'd, uh, I'd be more than honored. I'm up for it, Santa. I woke up the next morning enlightened, almost. There's nothing better than the holiday cheer to just get you out of bed. Even though it was 7am and I had to go to the barn. 
Either way, I got up gleefully. I put on my jacket and I headed on over to the barn and for some reason this morning felt different. This morning felt alive and when Maya told me that there was a horse in stall six, that he was a new horse, I knew for a fact, walking into that barn, that this wasn't just a regular Christmas morning, that this was gonna be the start of a new legacy. Cause this Christmas morning, it brought me back to when I was a little girl, <laughs> getting my pony, how magical the moment was. Who says I can't relive that magical holiday time? Even though times have changed, it's still Christmas. Anything, anything can happen. So when I opened my eyes and went to that stall, I knew that Coco, Santa's gift to me that morning, was going to be the holiday cheer I needed to keep me going for this next legacy. If you love the content that you saw, I really strongly encourage you to download Star Stable and register in the link set down below in the description box. It is by far the best update of the year when the Winter Wonderland comes around, and the best fact is that it's available to all players, so you'll be able to take part in it right from the start. Now for the best part of the video, the giveaway. So the giveaway is something that is super awesome. Anyone can enter. The only thing you need is an Instagram account because that's how you will be entering. There will be 300 star coins given out to five lucky winners. It's a massive giveaway and the best of the holiday experience if you ask me. In order to enter, you'll need to post an Instagram picture of your character in a winter outfit. It can be with your favorite horse. It can be in your favorite winter outfit, a monochromatic winter outfit. You could do realistic role play, a costume idea. Um, you could do elf pictures or be dressed up as a Santa. Do something really fun and get really creative with your picture. And in addition, you will need a caption sharing your best holiday or your best winter memory. Either of these, make it fun, make it creative, just have a good time with it. I know my subscribers are super creative, so I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. Also in your caption, you will need to include a tag to both my account and the official Star Stable Online account, as well as a hashtag Ride Into Winter. If you want specifics on how to enter this in, this will be on my Instagram story, so make sure to check that out when you log into Instagram next. I'm so excited to see what you guys do. I will be choosing um, my favorite five looks and the favorite five people that will be getting the coupon code for the Star Coins, so I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. I know you're so creative, and I hope you have a good time entering. So thank you so much, everyone, once again for watching. I really hope you like this video. I want to thank Star Stable for collaborating with me on this. Uh, it's all thanks to them able to provide you with this. So I had a really great time. Happy holidays, everyone. See you all next time.